the OG future neighbor's house. Woo woo! <laughs> so Daniel was away for about a month to spend time with his family. In the meantime, I was in Seoul <laughs> looking after the future neighbor house. And uh, to be honest, I didn't do a lot of cooking. Okay. But instead, I ate a lot of mandu. For real? Dumplings? Yes! yes. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna show you how you step up your mandu game. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start off with salad and look at this new board! Thank you, Daniel, for bringing it all the way from Costco in the US. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Costco. No slip. Yes. So first thing first, we need a few layers of cabbage. Okay, one. Ow! Really thin. So this one, thin. Good. Put it in a plate. Next is the cabbage. It's lettuce. Five pieces of lettuce. And then we're just gonna chop it into bite-sized pieces. Next is perilla leaves. Five pieces. Cut it horizontally like this. The final is the carrot, just about the pinky size. And julian the carrot. And then set them aside. If you don't have perilla leaves, you can just skip this one, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start off with half tablespoon of sesame oil. In! And now since we got oil on the spoon, we're gonna do 3 tablespoons of gochujang. 1 And 3rd tablespoon. In! 2 tablespoons of vinegar. In! 2 2 tablespoons of sugar. That's 1 2 Half tablespoon of minced garlic. In! Okie doke. Now it's time to mix, mix, mix. Why it smells like sogogi? There's something wrong. I'm smelling beef. I think you're hungry for beef. I just haven't had a beef for a very long time. I know, they won't serve you if you're coming in alone. Okay, let me take a sample. Test your luck. <laughs> what? Stop! Ouch! Wow, perfect ratio. The rest is just mixing all these things together. The green one in, another green in, another orange one in, and then the hot sauce in. Okay, so this is what we are looking for. So you know it's not done if we don't put the sesame seeds in. Let's go off as a final touch. We'll mix this up later because I already threw away my... Now our salad is done, let's cook up some mandu. We have some kimchi dumplings that's left over in our freeze and we're gonna use this one. Freezer. <laughs> in our freeze. <laughs> you have so much swag. The, the type of dumpling is not that important. You can just fry up any kind of dumpling. I usually cook my dumplings in a medium low. Once the fan heats up... The fan. <laughs> Whoa. The pan. <laughs> Let's get our F&P straight. <laughs> Anyone have any tofu books left you over? <laughs> Anybody you, have I any tofu books? I for one month. Gonna put some oil. Stop laughing. This dumpling is so old that it has glaciers on top. So this one isn't just kimchi inside. It has kimchi and minced pork together. You know how with gyoja, it's only crispy at the bottom. With Korean dumplings, it's crispy all around. I'm gonna show you one trick on food photography. Flip around a small tray and put it in the middle to give it some volume, the hidden volume, and looks like it's more than it is. Of course, this is clean. Look at this huge top! Give it some sesame seeds for final touch. I don't think we have enough mandu to go around <laughs> all the edges. What do you think, Daniel? Okay, so adjust. <laughs> adjust. You know what? I take it back. I think it's too much of a trick to bump up the salad. Now it looks like an overwhelmingly humongous salad tower. 
<웃음> Daniel, help me out. 아이고, 참도 잘한다. <웃음> Dumpling salad done. 쭈루. 음. I think the best way is stuff it in. Whoa. Everything together with the mango. This is a perfect combination to give the kick to the mandu. Like I can't have mandu without kimchi. But then with this salad, I don't need kimchi. And Katie, take us away with a melodramatic song. <laughs>